I'm uh, Professor Thomas Clack from the Department of Environmental Studies at the University of New England. And we're here doing a major ecological restoration project where we're making some great strides today in the direction of bringing back the American chestnut tree to the eastern United States where it used to be arguably the dominant, most important tree of our eastern forest. That tree has been nearly wiped out by uh, an accidentally imported fungal blight that was brought in from Asia. People brought in trees for their backyards because the, Ch the Chinese tree and the Japanese tree grow short. They don't grow tall like, like our American chestnut tree. So they love, in some ways you can say they love the chestnut to death. We've brought pollen to pollinate, fertilize the flowers of this tree, female flowers, that has um, an extra gene. And the gene that's been inserted to this, this pollen, the seedlings that, that grew the pollen, we, we intensely grow the, the seedlings in our, in our lab under high light conditions, has an extra gene that gives it blight tolerance. It's not only important to protect any species from extinction, this one in particular has so many ecological benefits to our area and to wildlife, to us. It has so many uses and from food to building, just the fact that its roots go so deep into the ground, it holds the soil together, so it reduces erosion. It's a step forward in the direction of restoring the tree. This is the first time this has ever been done in Maine. So we, what we're seeing right now is a major breakthrough, major step forward in uh, restoration in, in Maine. 